Festa is saying when I, when I first saw Krishnamurti in 65, I think, 65, yes, he looked so old that he did not allow people to take a picture of him. And uh, Krishnamurti was by that time around 70 years old and he lived to be 91, 91. With why Krishnamurti had this. Kiramuti had visited several homeopaths before me, the best in the world, you see, in America, in England. But he said to me, nobody was ever uh, gave him uh, the correct remedy, so he will feel rejuvenated. But still, he had an environment which was absolutely excellent. He, he had people who loved him around him. He had people to care about his food, about uh, the best uh, environment, to go to the country house, etc. And after homeopathy, after I treated him, he was rejuvenated for the two years of treatment, if I remember well. He said to me, one day I feel like a 16 year old. And uh, and uh, he lived uh, up to 91 year old. So that means uh, people who live in a good environment, and especially with a clear conscience where the, the guilty feelings are not strong or not at all. Uh, they have a possibility to live longer because the feelings of guilt and uh, feelings of aggression do not pressurize the physical body so much. So the, the physical body remains quite in a quite a good uh, position. But now I came in contact also with real saints, saintly people, Father Porphyrius, if you have some, they have had Father Ephraim, etc and a few others. Now, what I, f I found in those people who were really saintly people, that means people who have done miracles. Such people were suffering quite a lot in their physical body, and they would not live very long. 70 years was the maximum. So the... the People who want to get out of suffering and connect with the cosmic energy, with God, are having such fights, inner fights, conflicts, because of temptations which are coming all the time. And they fight the temptations. And uh, in uh, the end, it is... There is a repercussion upon the physical body, all this fight, inner fight, not to succumb to temptation. So this kind of people, you see, Krishnamurti was a philosopher, was, a, was not a saintly person, though people adore him as a saintly person. But, uh, but uh, early in life, he said, I'm not what you think, what you have made me. I am not a saintly person, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Uh, but anyhow, Krishnamurti was a philosopher, mostly. Mm -hmm. A philosopher with a good mind that gave good explanations. And, uh, mm -hmm. But uh, the real saints, saintly people, the anachorets, uh, those who are living isolated in Mount Athos, in Ayonoros, in, uh, in uh, Himalayas, etc., uh, who are really managed to clean themselves of all temptations and all the desires. They live in contact with God, which is a very powerful state. It's a very, very powerful feeling of... Uh, Complete. So these people, they do not need to fall in love with another person. They fall in love with God, with Christ. In uh, They fall in love, really. It, it, it's like a, 
a, a real love affair with these people. And um, of course, these people usually are from very young age, are showing signs of uh, renunciation and devotion in the divine, etc.